blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Using the power of prayer, a group of Catholics are protesting outside the Metropolitan Museum of Art. They are reciting the rosary as reparation for what they consider sacrilegious, that highly publicized exhibit linking Catholic influence to the world of high fashion. They did offend thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Catholics. We are hurt. We are offended. Amen. The main complaints? The museum show, titled Heavenly Bodies, Fashion in the Catholic Imagination, strains morality and its opening night gala left too little to the imagination. It was a lot of high slits and, and you know, low cleavage. The Vatican cooperated with the museum's heavenly bodies effort, sending scores of treasures from Rome for display. Combined with more contemporary pieces, the entire show is the largest costume exhibit in the Met's history, spanning 25 galleries. But for protesters, too much inside mocks the church. Of course, the objects here from the Vatican are sacred and they are very beautiful, but we don't believe that they should be mixed with these things, which are not and, and are making a mockery of our Catholic faith. The organizers of Saturday's prayerful and peaceful protest are members of the American Society for the Defense of Tradition, Family, and Property. They are arguing that many items in the halls are overly sexualized and what some celebrities wore walking the red carpet on opening night were over the top. That could have been a sacred exhibit very easily and quite wonderful. But to link it to this where people were going to display these cl the clothing that they were wearing was just beyond belief. The Rosary Rally was intended to be, quote, an urgent act of reparation for the Met Gala and the exhibit but it also served as an opportunity to offer advice for art lovers. If they want to be impressed by Catholic imagery or a Catholic uh, uh, architecture or whatever, go to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Don't, don't go here. Heavenly Bodies will be at the Met until October 8th. On the Upper East Side, Katie Angusser, Currents News.